Hello everyone, for this review we've got the Masters of the Universe Cross Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wave 3. So we have Skeletor, Michelangelo, Casey Jones, and Tila, who... You know, when I got this I thought this was supposed to be April, but there is an April coming. There is a splinter coming. Um, we also have a bunch of deluxes to talk about. That'll be another video. Um, so with this wave, we complete our collection of the four turtles. Um, we finally get a shredder decked out in some samurai gear. Um, so nothing too special about the packaging. Um, the colors for Skeletor do really pop. They're looking pretty good so far. On the back, we have him fighting Donatello. And, well, I guess he's fighting everybody because we see Raphael, Leo, and Michelangelo back here. That's kind of interesting. Um, his armor does appear to be a little more ghostly in the art in the back like like it's more transparent it is definitely not like that in uh the actual use of the toy and then we get to see you know all the figures that come in this wave and we get a portrait of skeletor um it would have been nice if these parts were translucent but these these neon colors um, they probably pick up really well under black light. Um, so that'll be interesting to see um, what those look like. So Michelangelo looking a bit uh, audacious with this orange wig on. Uh, the wig should be removable and we'll see in a moment. Um, on the package in the back, it shows him without it. And it does show him fighting uh, Hordak. So... I didn't know Hordak was going to be in this line. Um, he's got like uh, realistic wings and stuff. So that's kind of cool. And uh, it does show us in the back that the hair does come off. So if you think it's weird, you can take it off. Uh, then we got Casey. And kind of interesting. He looks like some of his weapons are translucent green. Um, he's looking pretty medieval looking. On the back, he is fighting Trap Jaw or Mouse Jaw, whatever he's supposed to be called here. And we see the Sorceress back there looking pretty normal. <laughs> um, nothing crazy, you know, cross dimensional about her there. And then we have Tila with a turtle-like motif instead of a snake motif. And on the back, she is fighting Merman. And her big selling point is that the shield comes off, which is a gimmick with all the turtles too. Okay, so that is the packaging. Uh, let's get these guys out and uh, take a look. So here they are out of the package. We'll go over Skeletor first. So his weapon is um, pretty interesting. He's basically got some nunchucks with uh, goat heads and sickles on the end. So he's like, uh, he's found his purpose in life. <laughs> this is pretty, pretty wicked. Um, he also comes with a vial of mutagen. Um, this almost looks like a fuse. Like you could just have found this at a hardware store. So normally these canisters are a little bit more elaborate. I don't know why they made this so small. Well, I guess I understand why. You know, they, they want this to work within the existing Motu toy line and these things 
you know, the, the hands are designed to hold weapons of a certain diameter, so I guess they had to go this way with it. That makes sense. Um, he he looks very interesting. He's got this uh, mutagen green armor all over everything with black thrown in. Um, the head is all one piece, so you're not going to get this uh, helmet off of him. Um, the chest armor does come off. The cape is separate. So if you wanted to display him without the cape, you can. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, the gauntlets are separate. You can take them off. The skirt is separate. And these uh, lower shins, they are part of the leg. So that's not separate armor. Um, so there you go. And he has the original toy feet. So Skeletor is looking pretty gnarly. Um, fitting in with the theme very well. Although um, I will say his head seems to be a little small compared to the other figures. But... That's probably my only gripe. So Mikey, he's got his weird hair. You can easily just take it off. Um, in the package, his shell is already removed. They really want you to be aware that the shell is removable. But you can just pop it on the back. Um, like the other turtles, um, the chest harness is separate, although what you see is this metal area. This is his chest. This is not a separate piece. This is actually the center um, upper area of the figure. So let's just pop that in. Um, also, uh, all all their over pieces are basically rubbery. Um, so they're very, very pliable. And then he comes with his nunchucks and... You know, if this was Playmates, there'd be a very strong possibility that the chain would be solid and fixed. So it's it's awesome that they have an actual chained weapon for him. Um, you don't normally see these in, like, retail lines. Um, there is some embellishment that kind of makes the end of the nunchuck kind of like a little mini mace. So I think that's kind of cool. There is Mikey. So Casey comes with all of this stuff. So he's got his little duffel bag. He's got a hammer. Looks like he's got um what's my man's name? Can't think of his name right now. He's got his fist. <laughs> um he's got a sword. He's got a He-Man style battle axe that looks like it can attach to somebody's hand. And he's got his hockey club because he can't be Casey Jones without a hockey club. His mask comes off. He's got a very real world head. This is probably... I don't know, this is, this is pretty striking. Um, I don't think any other Masters of the Universe character has had a head styled like this. Um, but a lot of a lot of the Motu figures, they're going for like old school toy looks and cartoon looks. And this is, just isn't a style that you've ever really seen in uh, Motu. His, uh, his armor is removable, just like everybody's. Um... There is no clasp that I can see, so you're going to have to pop him off to get all this stuff off of him. Um, and then this piece here is separate, so you can remove that if you wanted to. And this is going to make him extremely back heavy, but there are holes that these will go in. And... <laughs> He can 
kind of yeah he can do it you gonna have to lean him forward but he can hold his uh his hockey bag his golf bag there we go probably gonna fall but that's fine okay then we've got tila who you know i keep looking at her and i keep thinking this is april um because she's got a lot of april light um um style to her um interesting thing she comes with raphael's style sword she comes with a spear which is very tila like she has a turtle shield that she can hold in her hand you can put it in her back too but you're going to notice that this is designed in a way that it really covers these holes so you have to be a little particular and clever to get this on her and yes it's going to make her very back heavy when you're done um the helmet does not come off it is glued on but it is you can tell it's a separate molded piece but um again it does not cut on come off would have been cool if this was designed to come off and there goes the shell <laughs> um so uh pretty cool wave um we finally have a complete set of turtles so that is cool we are building up the hero ranks we just need april and splinter we have a lot of mutated heroes like he-man and ram man so looking forward to what else they put out i know there's a lot more figures coming so there's probably at least two more waves not including the deluxes which i think i think is done at this point unless they decide to do more deluxes so that is the review um if you're not collecting this line and you're into ninja turtles and masters of the universe i say get them uh they should be pretty easy to find now they're popping up a lot in walmart and obviously you can find these um online like at big bad toy store entertainment earth places like that so that's the review uh let me know what you think in the comments if you're liking this crossover um if you like some of the figures and maybe not others and uh as always tune in to more videos coming up thank you